Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Let's go to radar because this is what it's all about. The next big surge of snow. And you can see it coming. There's an area of low pressure. This is the main storm system that will ride the Arctic front. It'll pivot out of Oregon and California where that snow is moving through now. And it will push that whole shield of snow into the Wasatch, into the Tetons, and into Colorado. So you've got, uh, it's just a matter of time now. Heavy snow is en route tonight through probably 115 for a lot of areas. Let me take you in just a little bit closer into Salt Lake. You can see how close the snow is now, building in, developing over the front of the Wasatch. And this is when really the biggest chunk or bulk of snow accumulates at one time in the Wasatch and in parts of Colorado. It's this surge right here. We could see three feet of snow at Alta Snowbird out of this alone, out of this surge alone. All right, let me uh, take you to my bullet points, my latest headlines here for the afternoon. Here's what I'm seeing. Again, Arctic front and now the storm system. The one-two combo between today and 115. The next big surge comes in tonight through 115. Utah, you can see your time windows for snow. You have another shot of snow, maybe another foot of snow coming on 117 with a pretty efficient uh, west-northwest flow and potentially another storm system 121-122. Colorado, same initial time frame. Another storm coming in 117 and potentially another storm 122. California, you've got snow now, today, tonight. Uh, another chance of some snow 116-117 and potentially a larger uh, shot of moisture 120 through 122 with a bit of a pattern shift in the Pacific jet coming in. The northeast snow happening uh, now and then some light snow 114, light snow 116, and some moderate snow 119 and 120. All right, let me take you back and I want to show you how this is going to play out on the forecast radar and satellite. So this is the latest. You can see the storm system coming out of the west. Watch what it does. It pushes all that heavy snow into the interior states, into uh, Utah. This is 114 at 6 a.m. You can see all that heavy snow in Colorado. It's clipping the Tetons as well. And by the time we slide into the afternoon hours, you can see the view still snowing in the afternoon evening hours, Colorado, Wasatch, and it's not done yet. Watch the morning hours. Um, there's the evening. Watch the morning of 115. It's still snowing and some of that snow has migrated north into the Tetons. So we're still in the snow on 115 in the morning. By the time we get to the afternoon hours, it's starting to move out of the Tetons, starting to pull out of the Wasatch, but still snowing across the central and northern mountains of Colorado and all the way down into Denver as well. And by the time we get into uh, Tuesday morning, um, it is basically moving out and departing at that point. So there's 6 a.m. There's the rest of Tuesday. Here comes the next storm system. That's the one on 117 that could drop a quick foot of snow in the uh, not only the Tetons, but also the Wasatch. We're going to get snow in Idaho, Montana, the Pacific Northwest, and B.C. And eventually this spills down into Colorado on 117 in the afternoon, and we're going to get a nice... Uh, Nice accumulation there as well. So that's 117 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Here we are by the time we get into 118 in the morning. Still some snow across the northern tier. And there's 118 as we kind of move through the day into the end of the day. Um, that snow would then slide down into uh, Colorado. All right, let's talk about the jet stream uh, setup here. So uh, basically, there's your current jet power from northern and southern branch uh, co-located, producing all that wind we've had today across Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. Powerful transport bringing in the next big batch. Now, here's the next storm system. So this is 117. This is the one that brings in that pretty efficient west-northwest flow pattern and storm system out of the northern tier. Um, some pretty good OR graphics with that. 122, totally different here. You can see the trough coming out of California, moving through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, potentially a storm system there for the interior Rockies around 122. But look at that jet stream, that powerful Pacific jet blowing into California. You could see a storm system potentially riding that jet into California, producing um, a lot of precipitation across the Sierra. That's a long way out, but just uh, wanted to give you a heads up on that. All right, new grand total map as of this afternoon. Not a lot of changes here. Still looking for big snow yet to fall in the, uh, in the Wasatch. We could see over 50 inches when you combine what we're going to see tonight, tomorrow, and Monday with that storm system on 117, over 50 inches on the way for Little Cottonwood Canyon. 45 roughly for big and about 2 to 3 feet there through Park City, Snow Basin, and Deer Valley. In Colorado, we've got 1 to 3 feet yet on the way. Another one to two feet for the Sierra. And quite a bit of snow. Anywhere you see magenta or purple, that's over a foot. So that's 
all the major mountain ranges essentially. Still a lot of snow yet to fall, especially in the northern tier states with that 117 storm system. We're going to see some nice snow, a foot or two, up there through parts of Idaho, northwest Montana, Washington State, BC gets hit, and interior BC up to Revelstoke and Kicking Horse, we could see a foot or more with that setup. All right, let me zoom in. Here's the uh, central to northern mountains of Colorado, I-78 North. Again, one to three feet on the way, potentially more. And this is the type of pattern, especially once we get into this, the, especially we get into Sunday, Monday, and then 117, that really favors the Vail area, Steamboat, Buff Pass. We could see a couple of feet up on the Continental Divide. Cameron Pass could push 30 inches. All right, let's, let's go a little bit deeper west here into the West Elks. So 15, 16, 17 inches potentially around snow mass, Aspen Highlands, Aspen Mountain. A little better setup though, a little better catch around Crested Butte and Indy Pass and Capitol Peak with this type of setup. Uh, but again, that's a grand total by 122, about a foot down through the collegiates. Okay, so let's break it down by period. So the rest of today through the 15th, two to three feet on the way during that period. A solid three feet for Alta and Snowbird. Uh, by 115, by late 115. In Colorado, one to two feet, maybe more. Um, but again, we've got that other storm system coming in. Let me show that to you. Here it is on 116 through 119. That drops another foot of snow across the Tetons, a quick foot up there in parts of the Wasatch, and a foot or more up through the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Idaho, Northwest Montana, and Colorado, four to 10 inches from that storm system alone. Okay, one last uh, check here. Here's the final period, 120 through 122. Potentially some big numbers through the Sierra there, especially once we get into 122 and maybe even 123. Uh, another 1 to 4 in Colorado and a quick 2 to 7 there through uh, parts of uh, the Wasatch. All right, let's go to the northeast. I really don't have a whole lot here, 113 through 122. Um, you'll get some of this on 114, 116, and 119 through 120. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon update. Again, we'll end on the grand total map here. Again, uh, the rest of today through 122, still a lot of snow yet to accumulate across the West. Have fun, be safe, and I'll talk with you later. Thanks for tuning in here.